Good morning, North Carolina Pepper here. I'm going to show you a little trick the wife taught me a while back about using a, uh, a cheap stabilizer. So we're going to call this the penny stabilizer. So basically, or the one cent stabilizer, that's what I'm going to call it. Basically you need some non-stretchy string, a weight of some sort. In this case I'm using a washer or washer depending on what part of the country you're in. And a quarter inch screw or bolt. And a lighter to seal it and we'll cut it. So. Let's go ahead and pull the string off here. Put that over there. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to take this string and tie it to the washer as a weight. And I'll explain how this is used in just a moment. Now, there's two ways to do the top part of this. And I'm going to show you both ways. Okay, so that's that part. Now we need to measure out the string to what would be, if you're stepping on this, what needs to be eye level of the actual camera shooter. So hold on and I'll, I'll measure that off camera and put that back right here. Okay, so the string has been cut to the appropriate eye level of the, uh, the photographer. And then we're going to go a little bit above that because we need to tie a, a uh, bolt on there in this case. So... Let me go ahead and do that, and I'll be right back so you don't see how horrible I am at tying knots. Alright, I went ahead and tied the string on there. Pretty style. And we're going to go ahead and put this in the tripod adapter on the camera here. So let me go ahead and turn that over here. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and just screw that in. Doesn't have to be really tight or anything. Okay, now let me show you how how this is gonna gonna work on this camera. Basically, someone will step on this and hold the camera taut that, and it'll it'll minimize uh, up and down uh, movement so it actually stabilizes. Let me show you how this works. Okay, let me show you how to use it now. We're gonna go and place this on the floor, and you step on the weight, and you pull up like that, and you put tension on that, and then this gives us this. So we'll have it tensioned up like this, and then the photographer can do shots. And then remain perfectly level all the way across as long as there's tension on the camera. So that's it. North Carolina Prepper, this is a cheap camera stabilizer. Oops, sorry. Cut off too early there. But that's a cheap uh, camera stabilizer, and um, that's really easy to do. And you can keep that in your pocket when you're out doing photography and you don't necessarily expect things. So let me go ahead and show you the other part I forgot to mention about how to do this with a cell phone. So I'll, I'll be right back. So here I have it on the handheld camera, and she's filming the bird that you always hear scream in the background. And um, basically I tie the stringer on the camera like that, and she's pulling up on it, and it, it holds it. I'd have had her standing up to do this, but um, my tripod's not that high. So there you go. That's basically how I do it. If you see how stable the picture is in there, it's a really good way to do it. And this is what I use when I carry mine for out in the field uh, filming. I'll just drop down the floor and step on the string and use the knot because I don't have the uh, tripod mount on my camera, which is my droid. So there you go, North Carolina Prepper. Uh, please rate and subscribe and add some more tips if you know anything better. So anyway, have a great day. North Carolina Prepper out.